What? It did I did I just mess up my what is up guys? Holy shit! How long have I been doing this to fuck that up? <laughs> all right, all right. Um, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I I, I lost. I, I forgot what I was gonna say now. You guys ever have that happen? It's like you're in school and the teacher calls you and you're like, um, you put up your hand and like you you want to answer something or like ask the teacher something, and the teacher calls you and you're like, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. You know, and then everyone just laughs at you like you're a dumbass. I, I have that happen like a lot of times when I was a kid. It was pretty dumb, um, you know. But it's, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just how I am. All right, it's just how I am. So, this is a monster spotlight video. I'm gonna actually run through the spotlight so you guys can know what I'm actually about to do, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it after. So, in the spotlight video, I'm gonna introduce the dark. Um, Gatito. This is by my friend Soma Cruz, and he is a um, he's a top 100 PvP player in the game, and he's always hanging out on Channel One. He like promotes Channel One, you know. He's like Channel One is my channel, basically. Um, so so he's the boss of Channel One, and um, he yeah we're we're gonna. We're gonna show off his Dark Gatito because he said it as a rep. I didn't actually even contact him that I was gonna do this, but um, I'm sure he'll be happy nonetheless when I when I actually do this. So his rune build for for it is a rune set for the crit damage. So it's um, extra 40% crit damage, and he has a crit rate rune, a six star crit rate rune that's maxed out. Also has a crit damage substat and attack substat. Um, attack with a resist uh, HP crit rate, so I guess crit rate subset, and then another attack rune with um, without any, well it has to resist, but like, you know, none of the offensive substats that you, you actually need. So his crit rate is actually quite high, I would say it's like, if you add the original crit rate, which is like 10%, it's like already 60, 70, 80%, pretty close to 100 already. So he has really, really high crit rate and very, very high crit damage. This is a very, very well ruined Dark Gatito. You could probably do things way harder than this, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go through um, the Starstone B B8. Okay, so for for this series, what I what I plan to do is to um, no, 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 stop, stop autoing, just stop autoing is to just kind of show off some of the skills. I probably should have mentioned his skills before I went in, into battle, but basically he has a morale boost on his first skill, and he has a second skill that incre that passively increases his um, crit damage. It's very, very hard with the second skill. It's like seven, uh, six stars, like 7k without any crits, or without armor break and no crits. Um, Actually, wait, wait, I should have kept him alive. I fucked up. It's alright, I can still- I'll still have a chance to armor break the next turn. And then we can see how much damage he actually does with his first skill on armor break. Alright, in the future when I do this series, remind me to bring three- three monsters that have armor break on their first skill. Just so it actually does land. Holy shit, did you guys see that damage? That was like three hits of 18k per hit. Oh my god. Okay, let's 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 try to armor break this guy. And then we'll we'll use his first skill to see if it if it can crit on an armor break and see how much damage that does. Holy shit, that was like 26k a hit. Of three hits. Three hits of that. Can you believe it? Alright, uh... What should I do? I'm gonna save Yuki's armor break for the boss. But we can... We can try again. Let's see if it... If I can get a hit where, like, it doesn't crit. But it's... It's hitting someone that has armor break. No, it's like 26 consistently. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. All 
Alright, we're gonna try it on the boss. We're gonna use his second skill to basically one-shot the boss. Because I'm not confident that I'll be able to use it a second time. So we're just gonna use his uh, second skill, basically. He does 15... 15... 15k a hit uh, for 3 hits on his first skill without armor break. Alright, let's, let's try to armor break something. Come on. Ah, oh, so sad. I wasn't actually able to armor break the boss. This is, this is probably gonna one shot him. That was so much damage. Alright, let's see if we can armor break him. And then I can use his second skill to one shot the boss. Err. Okay. I have one more chance to armor break the boss. Because if I don't. If I don't do it, his first skill is probably going to kill the boss, I think. Please, armor break. Oh my god, that resist. Should I, should I try? This is probably going to kill the boss, though. Oh wait, no, it doesn't have armor break. It probably won't kill him. But that's a lot of damage already. I just want to see the numbers, you know? Alright, Yuki's first skill and second skill has the same chance to armor break, right? So I'm gonna use try to use the first one. Alright, nice, nice. Alright, alright. It is time, guys. It is time to see the damage. It is time to see the damage. Are you ready? I, sh I should put this at one time. It's time. How many hits was that? Holy shit! That was like 5 hits of like 30k or some shit like that. Oh damn, I should totally raise my Dark Gatito. That was really nice. God damn. Alright, so um, I'm going to explain a little bit more about what I plan to do with this series. Um, as you can see, or, or as you have seen before, I basically I, I review a monster. I just try to, try to use... Um, which is one full run to get as much information out about that monster as possible. So I, I try to bring someone that has like armor break and then um, we see how much damage it does like without armor break and with armor break and just a whole bunch of different um, you know different things that the monster does and just do a monster spotlight basically and um, so in order to participate for this you all you really need to do is um, I think I think for now you can comment, like, if you comment to add me, I can probably read that. But in the future, like, I do envision my channel all one day becoming, you know, like, a, you know, 10,000 subscribers, maybe, like, few, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 subscriber channel um, in the future, hopefully. But I, I'm, I'm not sure how long I can keep up, like, replying and reading every single comment. Um, but... If you if you send me an email, like if you want to apply officially, I think I think I don't need I don't need to make it sound so official, but like if you want to participate, basically send me an email um, telling me your in-game name and just um, just a little bit about like what you're what you're trying to do, like you know which what monster you have, and um, you know maybe even tell me like which which dungeon you want to run that monster on. You know, just to, to to best showcase its abilities and um, and have that monster represent you as well. And I'll I'll be I'll be shouting you out in the video as well. Um, and you can leave whatever message you want. Like as long as it's not nothing, you know, that's gonna get me banned off YouTube. Then I can I can shout out that as well. Um, if you if you participate in that in in the the videos. And um, in order to, in order to, for a monster to be eligible, I think at the very, very least it should be five stars, and um, and at least has like a proper rune set, you know, like not random shitty runes like I, I use. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be a little bit hard, but it's this is kind of like you know I just want to be able to show a monster to the best of its abilities, and hopefully in the future one day I'll be able to show every single monster in the game. I'm not gonna limit limit the the um, entry to monsters that have 
like you know that I haven't done reviews on before because there's different room builds and there's always like different types of methods and ways you can use that monster and there's also um, like there's there's just there's just so many ways that you can customize that monster in order to make it fit its best, best potential and also um, I don't want to limit it to any monsters that I've already done a spotlight on before. So if you like, if I've already done a spotlight on a Fire Arthur, but you have a, you also have a Fire Arthur and you have a different build or something like that, and um, you know it's unique, then I can definitely do a spotlight on that as well. Um, I just want to do. I'm gonna, um, at the very least, try to not have too many repeats uh, within the same time period. You know, like just. I don't want to have like a Fire Arthur video today and then tomorrow also have a Fire Arthur um, spotlight video. I think that's basically it. I, I just thought it would be a really good idea to start this series now because there's there's um, there's a lot of people coming to my channel now and there my my Discord chat's like becoming alive again. There's a pe there's people like talking and stuff on the Discord chat and um, there's discussion going on. It feels like there there's a community that's starting to grow. Um, here right now, so I'm planning to to do this for the for 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 our community that's going to eventually, or our our growing community that's eventually going to become a real community um, in the future. And yeah, just I hope I'll be able to just keep this up and just keep keep doing this, keep making videos as well. Hopefully, you guys found this entertaining, and hopefully, you think this is a really good idea. Um, I'll just. Yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. I, there's no, there's nothing else for me to say. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like because like likes help me a lot. You guys do, don't understand how much likes help YouTubers. Likes help YouTubers so much. Um, if you just leave likes, if you if you don't understand, just like likes makes it so my videos are like better, so more people can watch it. Um, yeah, that, that didn't explain anything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.